Lavis campers, my name is Becca and I was a counselor at the Heritage Camp. Um, so today, me and my dad are going to be showing you how to make a Lithuanian regolis, otherwise known as a shakotis, which is a Lithuanian celebration slash wedding cake. So now I'm going to throw it over to my dad, who's going to start going over the ingredients that you put in the cake. Okay, Lavis Naringa Jana. Hello, Naringa family. Today I'm going to show you how to make a small regolis and this is the size of the small one right here. We make that today and some of the other cakes that we make are we have a 12 inch, we have a 17 inch and a 21 inch cake. Anyway, here are the ingredients. I start with some butter which is called Sviestas in Lithuanian. So I just add this in my mixing bowl. Okay. Next, I put some flowers, 15 ounces, it's also called milta in Lithuanian. We add that. Also, five ounces of sugar, sukaris. And here I have 15 egg yolks, doshinite. Scrape these out. They don't waste. So, how many eggs go in a big cake? Um, the biggest cake we have, there's actually 60 eggs in it. Wow. So that's our biggest cake. And now we also add some vanilla. That's one ounce. And one lemon. Squeeze. Okay, and now we are ready to start mixing it. And this is... Uh, the mixing device that my grandfather used, it actually helps incorporate less air. It's just a screwdriver <laughs> handle, so, and a, a Phillips screwdriver actually works better. So let me turn it on and we mix it until it gets like a pancake batter. So it probably takes a good five minutes or so of mixing. The batter looks pretty good, so I took the egg whites and we're just going to add them to the batter. And then we just fold them into the batter. All right, everyone, so we've mixed all of our ingredients, we've gotten it up to the right temperature and the right batter consistency, which is about the same as a pancake batter. So now that that's all ready, we put the batter up into this bucket, and as you can see, it comes down through this tube, and once we open this little spigot is when the ba when the batter starts to come out, and then my dad will start to bake. Now I'm pouring the batter onto the shaft. All you do is uh, go back and forth, paint layers of batter um, until the cake is done. This particular cake takes about 45 minutes to an hour. This, when I was first learning the cake, my grandfather was training me, and I was spending too much time in the middle, so he always said, go coast, to coast. He didn't know much Lithuanian, uh, much English, but that's uh, what he used to tell me. So when I was young, um, this is one of my favorite things. My grandparents would be making a regolish in our backyard. It's a tradition that was brought over from Lithuania, and the way they made the cake was very old school. Instead of a electric heat like this. They used to have coals in the bed over here, and I remember my grandfather would hand crank it, and right here I got a nice, you know, modern technology motor here with reverse and everything. Um, and my grandmother, while my grandfather was cranking it, would take a spoon of batter, just kind of go back and forth with a spoon, and uh, it's just much easier, more modern doing it this way. All right, campers, so we actually have a little contest for you. So I'm gonna show you guys a photo of someone who you guys know, he was both a camper and a counselor at the English camp. Um, and so we're gonna put his photo up and the first person who emails us with the name of this person is going to get a free eight inch regolis mailed to them, only if you live in the continental United States. So I'm gonna show you the photo, and then again, like I said, the first person who emails us with the name of this person will get a free cake. So let's see if you know who it is. Yep. 
All right, guys, so behind me we have a map that my grandfather started, and he was putting pins in each of the locations and states and cities of cakes that he mailed to and sold to. So as you can see, there's a bunch here in New England, um, pretty much all over the U.S. We've sent to every state except for South Dakota. No one's ordered from us in South Dakota yet, so if anyone lives there, please order a cake from us and we'd love to send you one. We have sent some to um, Alaska and Hawaii, in addition to some other very long distance places, are Australia, we've sent one, and also Afghanistan. All right, guys, so here is our finished product, our beautiful regalis. We mixed all the ingredients, we baked it, and voila, here it is. Thanks for watching, guys.